on Windows machine and that is on localhost because a lot of people face issue and not much support is there on Win YouTube also for this so this will be our flow let me show you so this is the heading trigger Jenkins pipeline on Windows localhost and deploy app on Minikube so this trigger will be automated so automated by the meaning is whenever you push, you push the github repo so whenever there are changes in your git then that automatic trigger will happen so there are certain videos but localhost is not covered in any of the video so let's do it you need jenkin docker minikube cluster up and running so make sure all these are installed ngrok is the tool for uh, forwarding your port 8080 so that remote connection can be made with github hook that is web hook then we will have github repo we should have a pipeline ready we should have uh, this git account and all i'll provide the link also for all the codes and all so what is our project so this is the simple project you see this is the simplest file that is python file and i have created one simple basic application for every second the incrementing number will be printed on browser screen so this is the port 888 on which our app will run and this is the index file where the uh, app output you can see in the browser okay so what we'll do we'll make some changes and we will push it to the push it to the git and git pipeline should automate the trigger so let me show you at present there is no any trigger available so let me change some of the i'll just remove the auto word so trigger jenkin pipeline manually okay so this is what we changed i'll just save it after saving i will add all these changes to git then i will git commit iphone m message will be manual pipeline and we will push these changes git push so i have already set up the origin and all please set your origin accordingly let me show you this repo also link will be provided in the description below so be sure so let's go to the repositories so these are the repository and this is the jenkin pipeline example this is the repository where we have manual pipeline you can see the push has been successful now you see this is not the automated build so 16 this is static now i will click on build now so build is scheduled and 17 the execution has been started let me show you the pipeline code also so you can find jenkin file in this file you have entire code for your pipeline so what we are doing basically we are just printing the path so these are my docker image cube config file path and where the mini cube is installed that path then we'll just echo this path whether it is correct or not then we have setup checkout then we have docker image building process docker pushing the image process and we are deploying it to minikube so this entire code is available in the git repo you can just copy paste and make some changes according to your requirement meanwhile our pipeline is building so this is manual trigger manual build and after once this process is completed i will show you how we can have the automated build or how can we trigger the pipeline automatically so pushing it to docker docker hub now it is deploying it to minikube cluster minikube is the kubernetes cluster which we use for testing purpose so within one minute our app is up and running and it is deployed to our 
cluster also that's good jenkin is really good tool for this process and post declarative actions are like the message after running successfully so you see one commit and that is manual pipeline now you just open the command prompt and if you just see you can see all these changes reflected even you can see it through console output also if i just type kubectl get all so you see here are the pods services and deployments created now you see here is a external ip for my application but for that purpose you need to run this mini cube tunnel so tunnel will be created for running your local app on the machine now you see the starting tunnel for service python jenkin demo i'll just ping the local host here and you see trigger trigger jenkin pipeline manually successfully with get mini cube and these are the output for just testing purpose now what we'll do we'll do the next part that is the automatic trigger so for automatic trigger there are simple steps which you need to follow first you need to go to your github repo right then just go to settings in the setting you have webhooks you need to add new webhook so it will ask you for this confirmation for adding webhook well here you need to add your payload url and if it is a public repo then no need of this secret if it is private repo then you need to create a token and token can be generated from here let me show you that also just go to setting into the setting you go to developer setting and into the developer setting you see personal access token token classic and you can generate a new token here i have already created jenkin access token for one of the private repo so just ignore that so back to the point where we were at the start i'll just go to my repo first jenkin repo yeah first jenkin pipeline in this pipeline we'll go to setting in the setting file you find webhook and into a webhook add webhook okay here comes the interesting part now you need to start ngrok so what is ngrok ngrok is nothing but the tool for forwarding your port so basically this is local host and if you just enter local host 8080 it will not accept even though it is running on our machine if you just type http local host and you just add webhook it will give you the error it will say it is not reachable over the public internet so how you access your local host over the internet or public uh, public internet so ngrok comes to our help ngrok is the tool which forward your local port to some xyz url which is public url so what you have to do is uh, download the ngrok for for windows and extract it to the convenient place where you want to i'll show you where i have extracted it so users abc and you can see ngrok here ngrok v3 stable and here you just need to open command prop at the root of the ngrok.exe here you just type ngrok http 8080 so this is the port where we are forwarding our traffic 8080 where jenkin is running now you see this is the url this is the public url and this is forwarding localhost 8080 now if i just go to browser and if i just paste it you will see you are about to visit this site this is blah 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 just go click on visit site once you go on this site just enter the credentials once again okay so you are in and you are inside your jenkins but it is running on public machine or public ip now now go to webhook once again here you just type app 
and you write github webhook slash so this is the end point where github webhook will be applicable and now you click on this add webhook so you can see the correct mark over here if you refresh you see this is the tick green tick that indicates now you are ready for the deployment automated triggers once this is done in your jenkin make sure you have the github integration plugin installed so i will show you that also so into the plugins you see here is the installed plugins i will go to install plugins and in the install plugin you can just search github so these are all the github plugin you need to install only github integration this github integration plugin so all these plugins will automatically will be installed by the system itself okay so our webhook is ready now what we have to do is we have to just see and push some changes to github and we'll see if it is automatically building or not now it is 17th round or 17th reversion i'll just go to my python project in the index.html now we will just change it to automatic trigger jenkins pipeline automatically and i'll save it the next step is to git add git commit auto trigger git push so as soon as you push the repo the webhook will be activated and if you just visit this now it should start and you see this 18 revision started it is pending in the quiet period and it has been started you will we'll see the changes here so our pipeline has been started successfully let me show you the output also at the end of this video so now it's building docker image so this is the flow for this basically and it's quite easy so i was struggling for it initially but finally using ngrok you can do it on your local host and on your mini kube local cluster also so just we'll see the output console output so you can see now it is pushing once it is pushed to docker hub the next step is it will be pushed to our kubernetes cluster through config yaml file that file has been included you can see it here kubeconfig.yaml so this is the deployment file and this is the service file so i am forwarding 888 port on the port 80 of the container and we are ready with the image the final step is you see the previous deployment has been deleted and the new deployment that is new image has been pushed once again and now we are cleaning up we are reaching at the end of the pipeline so pipeline is successful 18th revision with automatic trigger now we will see the output whether we are getting the now you see this site can't be reached because we are not providing tunnel here so i will again go to cmd and i will start tunnel once this tunnel is started just refresh and you see trigger jenkins pipeline automatically so our change has been reflected into the cluster with clear effect thank you for the video i'll share some interesting videos which are not covered on youtube like this thank you